Hello and welcome back to the course on physics for engineers. So we are now on chapter 11 of this course, which will talk about electrostatics. So electrostatics stems from two words, electro and statics. So it basically means study of electric charges at rest. So charges that are not moving or stationary. So as you learn from your uh, mechanics in the introduction of the university physics course, you have uh, you have been introduced to the four fundamental physical quantities in uh, nature. So you have length, mass, time, and the fourth one is electric charge. So electric charge has a unit, a standard unit of Coulombs, named after Charles Augustine de Coulomb. So in the first lesson, we will be discussing the relationship between electric charge, electric field, and electric force. So we will actually be dealing with how charges interact with one another. And they actually interact using their electric fields, which exert a force on other electric charges. Lesson 2 will all be about calculating electric force and electric field for discrete charge distribution uh, by virtue of or by using Coulomb's law. So this is applicable actually generally to any distribution of charges, but this is most practical if you have a discrete charge distribution wherein the charges can be counted, uh, can, be, can be countable. Uh, lesson 3 is an, uh, will feature an alternative calculation tool for finding the electric field. Uh, this, uh, this is by virtue, of, by, by virtue of Gauss law. So this is very practical to use if you now have a continuous charge distribution. So in this case, if your charges now form a line, a surface, or a volume, then you should use Gauss law. Lesson 4 will be all about the quantity called electric potential, which is just related to the electric potential energy. And uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the useful uh, quantity related to electric potential, which will be used later when you discuss about circuits, is voltage, which is just the potential difference. And in the last lesson, we will be talking about capacitors. So in general, capacitors with dielectric. So capacitors are uh, electrical circuit elements. It's actually the first uh, circuit element, basic circuit element that we will discuss. And it's basically a device which stores electric potential energy. So that is it for the introduction to this chapter. And I will see you again in the first lesson of chapter 11. So, goodbye.